Hello, everybody. It's, uh, it's me, your boy, Mitchy Poo. I need to flatten out these bad boys. These have been in the freezer since June of last year. It should be good for nine months to a year. And I'm right in that margin of error, seeing as how it's April. So we gotta we gotta pound these bad boys so that they're nice and flat. It's a potato masher, but I'm gonna use it to smash chicken. Yeah. So see how flat these ones are compared to these ones over here? That's called progress. And this is the only reason I've been doing daily workouts so I can pound chicken better. Oh, pound that meat. Pound it. That's loud. Jesus Christ. There's not gonna be enough room on this cookie sheet. Isn't that like a first world problem? There's not enough room on my pan for all the food that I have. So I don't think they should be touching, but there's not much of an option. I'm gonna put some oil on it. Of course, when you're cooking with Mitch, you gotta do everything one-handed basically, so. That's how you open it. It's 100% extra virgin olive oil. Perfectly suited for me because I'm 100% virgin. So we're just gonna dabble a little bit on there. Oh, that might've been too much. It's dripping. Tastes like virgin. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy thingy ding. This guy. My drawer is off its tracks, so what is going on here? Cooking with Mitch is going to take a bit of a subversive turn because the drawer just ain't going in and I have a hammer and two nails. I'm going to hammer one of these into a hole over there and one of these into a hole over there in the very far back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going vertical. And now the moment of truth. That drawer has been giving me troubles for months now. And now back to your regular programming. So we're just gonna softly glaze the chicken. YOLO glaze it. And you do it with a glazing utensil. And while you're doing this, you, you, you should hum incoherently. And that part's done. So now we're on to adding this on top, which will become caramelized in the oven. We've got brown sugar, salt, pepper. What's that stuff? What's that? Garlic powder and oregano. The main thing is the brown sugar. When it's properly caramelized on top of the chicken, that'll let you know that the chicken itself is, is done. And I think it says to do 425, 18 to 20 minutes. And you're gonna to wanna to mix this up healthfully with a healthy dose of mixing. That should be good. Fully fluxated. Okay, so now we're gonna add the, the thick of thoth. Look at that. This may just be my magnum opus of homemade bullshit. There we go. So this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. And now that the oven's ready, we put it in the oven and close the door. That sound means uh, the timer is uh, beeping. All right, hopefully it tastes good. This is what we ended up with. The uh, natural daylight is fading fast. It's almost nine o'clock, which makes sense. Nine o'clock in April. Sun goes bye-bye. Chicken goes hi-hi. That's, uh, that's chicken. Let's, let's cut one open and see what it looks like. Here we go. One-handed. Not gonna happen. Oh wait. Ah. Ah. 
Hey, hey! It's coked all the way through! <laughs> Sweet! Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> that is tender. That's pretty good. Gotta get those gains. Chicken gains, you know what I'm saying? Chicken gains. This is actually probably one of the more normal Cooking with Mitch episodes in terms of what I'm actually making. It's just chicken breasts. Simple and they're actually kind of delicious. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace. 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 Peace.